Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Two bright red cosmic lights for your Valentine. This Valentine's Day night, Sunday, February 14th, 2010. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. If you want to give your sweetheart something very special and out of this world this Valentine's Day, we have two bright red objects in the cosmos, gift wrapped and ready to present. Absolutely free. Okay, we've got our sky set up for 8 to 9 p.m. this Valentine's Day night, Sunday, February 14th, facing east. We're about halfway up the sky. You will see a very bright yellow gold light, which many people say has a reddish rouge tint to it. It has been known throughout history as the red planet, and it is, of course, Mars. At the end of January, Mars was at its closest to Earth and at its brightest for all of 2010 and 2011. And although it is now slowly moving away from us each night, it is nevertheless extremely bright and quite easy to find. So, Mars is your first cosmic red gift for your Valentine. For your second gift, simply turn to your right and look due south, and you will see another very bright, even redder object shining high above the horizon. It is, in fact, the brightest red star we can see with the naked eye. And just coincidentally, it reaches its highest point above the horizon every Valentine's Day night between the hours of 8 and 9 p.m. It is one of Orion the Hunter's shoulder stars, and its name is Betelgeuse, which most people pronounce Betelgeuse. So, now you have red cosmic gift number two for your Valentine. And although Betelgeuse and Mars will look about the same in brightness, there their similarity ends. In fact, they're about as different as you can get. And you can really impress your Valentine when you tell her or him what they're all about. Mars is not very big, cosmically speaking only about half the size of our 8,000 mile wide Earth, 4,000 miles wide. But Betelgeuse is about as big a red Valentine as you'll ever find. In fact, if we compare Betelgeuse with Mars and our Sun, you'll understand just how big. Indeed, Mars is absolutely dinky compared to our Sun. In fact, we could fit over 8.7 million Mars inside it. Betelgeuse, however, is so huge we could fit over 160 million of our suns inside it. And that's when Betelgeuse is at its smallest size, because Betelgeuse changes its size regularly, like a gigantic, slowly pulsating heart. It beats, however, only once every six years. When Betelgeuse contracts to its smallest size, it's at about 500 times the width of our sun. But when it expands to its largest size, it is almost 900 times as wide. Or think of it this way, if we could place Betelgeuse where our sun is, when Betelgeuse is at its smallest, it would stretch out past the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, all the way to Mars. But when it's at its largest, it would reach all the way to Jupiter. Wow! So there you have it. In the south, the red star Betelgeuse at its highest above the horizon, and in the east, the red gold planet Mars, halfway up the heavens. And perhaps that gold color will inspire you to give your Valentine a bit of the same. Is this a romantic cosmos or what? Happy Valentine's Day night and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.